Hey, we're coming to you live. Yeah. This is my live. Cut. Is that right now? Uh, they call me Spook Go. It's me. I always uplift, I never talk down on her. She's such a queen, man, I gotta put a crown on her. She need a ring, we together till we down under. Why she ain't married yet? Yeah. Celebrate that, baby, you deserve it Whether you got good hell, need to put a perm in Celebrate that, baby, you deserve it You deserve that shit, you deserve that shit New promotion at the job You deserve that shit, you deserve that shit You deserve that shit And just got a new car You deserve that shit What's up, YouTube family? Uh, welcome to our channel if you haven't checked out any of our videos before uh, today we kind of want to start off by getting into the journey of, you know, how our beautiful daughters got here because it was definitely a process. Yes, and now that they're here, obviously you can hear them in the background. <laughs> um, but it was a long process, so we're going to tell you a little bit about that. Uh, I will be right back. <laughs> Mama, 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 mama. You ready for your close-up? Yeah, so, um, <laughs> we back. We had to get our kids because they didn't want us to uh, oh, do babe. a video without yeah. them today. So, say hi. yeah, say hi. Say hey. Say hey. Wee. Say hey, Justin. But, okay. yeah, so, where were we? Um, I mean, it was really... <laughs> It was really the beginning of, we were just letting you guys know basically how we got here. Um, so, it took us a while to have kids, um, for those who don't know us. Um, that's part of the reason that we wanted to start a YouTube um, channel, to tell people about our life. And, you know, for some women, it's very easy to have kids and... Um, for others, it's very hard. And I think that for some women who have a hard time having kids, um, some people may not like talking about it. Um, others always say, or I've had a lot of people actually tell us, you know, it's good to talk about your, your journey or your um, experiences in life. So we pretty much want to share our story and give you a little... A little... What's, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. <laughs> you can't help me? <laughs> um, basically, just trying to sum up how we got here. And we'll start by you know, telling them. According to her, um, we were trying to prevent it in the beginning. We were. According to her. <laughs> we were. <laughs> but um, we can't even agree on <laughs> at what point did we start uh trying not using protection yes. or or some sort of birth control to not get pregnant in the beginning our timetables oh. don't line up but at all and the, maybe the first two years we were doing what we we're supposed to do and kind of preventing it a little bit but we was oh we was using condoms at first <laughs> you lied <laughs> We were. What? <laughs> what? So now he doesn't remember using condoms. No. Either way, we did. But baby, we ain't using no condoms. First two years, though. Okay, definitely the first year. I don't know about the that. first year we ain't using no condoms. How long was we using condoms? Mm, not that long. How long? I don't know. He was like hitting it a month with some condoms, and then after that, it was. Might have been. I don't think it was that long, though, baby. No. Okay, well. In his mind, we were only using condoms a month. In my mind, we was using condoms for two years. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so uh, my wife being a type 1 diabetic, um, it just was a lot of stuff going on um, with us health-wise that, yeah. that was preventing us from actually getting to um, the point we needed to get to. So it wasn't working as far as us trying to get pregnant on our own. But um, with that though, as mm -hmm. far as with the health, it's because the A1C and the blood sugar levels 
Um, at the time, they were out of control for me. Um, I believe my A1C was about a 14 at the time, and your A1C is supposed to be a 6. So my levels were like very elevated, and it was a lot going on with just myself trying to carry kids, you know? So that was a big part. Right. So we had to do a lot of work to um, get her sugars right on the... Um, on the this is not a blah 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 hey. moment. Excuse me, okay. I'm doing a video here. No, thank you. This is important. But yeah, uh, <laughs> so um, we had to basically control my blood sugars and get my A1C down for a period of time. Um, what I mean by period of time is um, they didn't want me to just jump in and let's say snap and get my A1C right, and then they were just gonna automatically say, hey, we're gonna help you get pregnant. They still wanted to monitor it for like a year. So we had to wait for a year for that. And then after that, um, after we got the A1C down, the blood sugars, is yeah. that when we, that's when we went back, right? To the daughter? Abby, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. After we got the A1C yeah. down, I was going to say, hey, say, hey, listen, 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 listen. Say hi. Boop. Quiet. Yeah, whoever invented a pacifier. Thank crazy. you. Crazy. You goat. All yeah. right. But uh, yeah, so it, basically it wasn't working on our own. So um, like all our friends, all our close ones, you know, and even people that just know us or think they know us from social media used yeah. to always be like, when y'all gonna have some kids? When y'all? Yeah. And look, don't ask people yeah. when they gonna have kids because you never know what they are going through or what's going on behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody, you know, think they know you and they, you know, but anything you say could trigger some trauma that you don't even know you're triggering. Um, you know, but we always kept it cool. You know what I mean? Kept it, you know, kept it, um, you know, in a joking manner just to yeah. kind of, you know what I mean? But we actually, it, 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 it really was tough for us. You know what I'm saying? It really was tough for us. Like I said, and, you know, especially for my wife, like I said, I try to be, try to be strong for her. You know what I mean? But like I said, it was, it was really tough. Uh, we actually had a false positive pregnancy one day, uh, one time. So um, she ended up going to the hospital. She was real sick. So we know what was going on. Um, of course, we thought it was her sugar. Um, get to the hospital. We there for a while. And all of a sudden, doctor come in. Well, are you pregnant? <laughs> nah. Well, I don't know. I think you said you, said you don't know, right? No, I said no. That time I said no. So I was like, he was like, "Is it a possibility?" I was like, "It could be," because at this time we were on agreement that it could be a possibility. I I I I so I say, so real? I was like, "Yeah," and then, then that's when he is that when he came. That's when he left out and came back in, like a little after some time, mm -hmm. and was like, "Oh, you're pregnant." So. I, the first thing I said, I don't know if you remember the first thing I said. I said, are you sure? That's what I said. And he was like, You started yes. crying. Oh, well, I started crying. But the first words that came out my mouth were, are you sure? I immediately started crying as soon as he said it. And then I was like, are you sure? And he was like, yes, you're pregnant. He was like, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, you know what he said? <laughs> he was he was like, I'm going to go ahead and um, get you these prescriptions for your prenatals. At this point in my mind, when he's telling me that he's going to get uh, prescriptions ready, um, that we need to do appointments um, and different things, I'm like super excited because I'm like, oh man, like we finally get to this point. We're finding out by accident. We just happened to come to, my husband just happened to come and bring me to the emergency room because he thought something else was wrong all along i'm pregnant like so many thoughts are running through our mind like he's trying to control me from crying because i'm trying not to have a panic attack because i'm super excited so that was the first experience where we thought we had good news yeah and then just you know once we you know we excited so you know we getting ready to i don't even know do we, we didn't start telling people yet no we didn't because we always said we was gonna 
wait a few months before we tell people due to um, my wife had a miscarriage before. So, but anyway, so um, once, uh, stop girl, she you biting me. You. <laughs> yeah. So once uh, we went to um, the um, EVMS, they end up running tests and they end up telling us we were, she was never pregnant. So we're like, never pregnant. Like, who is this doctor? I asked him, was he sure? You know what I'm saying? Like, now all these other thoughts are running through my mind because I'm just like, for someone who has been trying to get pregnant for so long and then you tell them that they're pregnant and then you go to maybe the doctor a week later and then they say that you were never pregnant. They asked, their exact words were, you were never pregnant. We don't know what that doctor saw. Yeah, yeah. so once we got the false positive, it was like, I don't think I ever seen her more devastated at that point. Yeah. Once we found out that we weren't pregnant. So it was like, <laughs> it, won't, I don't, it won't even nothing I could say to her, you know, to really fix it at that moment. You know what I mean? I just was. You know, I've been trying to encourage her as, as much as possible. Like, yeah, uh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. But um, right in the middle of that news, like, it's just the worst feeling ever.